Welcome to week four of four of our Peugeot Boxer van build. So you've seen week one, week two, and week three of this four week van build. And we're finally here, week four, the last week. It was a grind to say the least, but my God, are we happy we've achieved this. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. It is our final week of the van build, isn't it? I can't believe it's week four, like, wow. The pressure's on. <laughs> We've really got a lot to do this week. We do, but I think we're going to get there. We're only working like two or three days a week each this week, so it um, means we can get way more done. Hopefully we can. Well, yeah. And Electric, pinching pieces, bed, kitchen. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. We always find when we move our van to a different place, so it always feels a bit more airy and light. It feels like a different van. It literally it? feels like a different van. I think we're both feeling quite appreciative for it today, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we are. I think we're both feeling pretty good about it, so yeah. hopefully today goes good and we can just power on and get some good jobs done. Just got to get on with that overhead now, so we're going to put our overhead cabinet up. I'm gonna tile this bit. I bought the same as our last fan build, these um, self-adhesive ones. These were like 20 pounds for 10 sheets. Um, I'm just gonna do them one one up high all the way along. I think it'll look quite nice. So yeah. And I'm having sweets too. Right, so I think our plan now is to smash out some trim. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Your little head, you're like, <laughs> we're gonna smash some trim out, see how that goes. Sort uh, our kitchen out a little bit. Yeah, and maybe start making the bed later today. It is at four o'clock already, so we'll see. We're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to. <laughs> All right, I'm coming, so. I'm just staring at my arse. Yeah, you know, it's gotta be done sometimes. I understand, I have a good bum. Very attractive buttocks. 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 time float on. Right, so I'm currently trying to install some of these trim around the frame of our window. Nikki has painted them a lovely white colour, so I'm currently installing the last couple of pieces of that. And we're just going to see how that goes. Cool air blows a memento. Next step, gorgeous done. Yeah. Bed. Yeah, it actually is, isn't it? Should I clear this up and you go get the calyx unit? You clear that up, I'll take a nap. You're funny. Right, Nick. So, do you want to explain to me what these legs are for? So these legs are for our bed. So we're going to have a double bed in the back here, which ways? And what's that snazzy unit you're leaning on? This is a calyx IKEA unit. So it has three cubes in it, sorry, four cubes in it. Um, so the people who live in here can have their clothes storage in here. And I thought it was quite a good idea. You kind of just came out of nowhere with it saying, we can use it, it's from our flat. Yeah, it's from our flat. We're about to move out anyway. We're going to sell it anyway. So. And it just means the bed's going to have a bit more support because we're going to do the legs the exact same height as that, aren't we? Yeah. You smashed it with that idea. Let's get on with some building some beds. <laughs> And guys, if you know us well enough from the last build, we love easy nothing more screw. than an easy drive screw. They go through anything. They like go metal. through metal, they go through wood, they go through, they go through human flesh. Beautiful boys like these. Beautiful girls. <laughs> We're going crazy guys, help us. Yeah, it's like five o'clock and we still got so much to do. Should we finish this bed so we can make some babies in it? I don't usually cry at all But 
Wow, is it always close, ranging from a moon sea? Ooh, what a long day. That was so long. It wasn't even that bad. I don't know what I'm complaining about. <laughs> oh, really? We got the wood. Got some wood. Or whatever it's called, the chipboard lamp. I don't know. <laughs> Basically, it was a bit cheaper than the plywood, and we're only using it for under the mattress, so we thought, why not save some money? Yeah, and we got it thicker than we would have. We got it at 11. And 11 millimetres. But we had to compromise on the size because we had to fit it in a normal size car, Nikki's car. So we're going to see if we can fit it across the bed and make this work. Let's give it a go then. Right, so we've just decided on a little support system for our bed. We're going to add in two more beams going that way under the bed. And then we're going to add in a couple of support noggins maybe on the wall just to kind of make sure it's properly supported. I'm like, Bella, do you mind throwing me to the table? <laughs> That's how much I don't want to do it. I just bashed myself up the nose of a piece of wood, literally went like that, and now I'm crying. Really Honestly, hurt. I felt sorry for him. I couldn't help but laugh. I can't believe my nose isn't bleeding. I bet it's going to be a massive bump. It's like right here. Oh, I can feel, I can feel the bump already. Oh, you're a trooper. It's a bump. You're such a trooper. Yeah. Hey. Compared to that, it's like full up and full up. Wow, I don't want to feel it, but I can see it. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> right, come on. Tell me what you've bought for the front of our bed. I bought this beaded MPF, and this is going to go on either side of our cube storage unit for people's clothes. Um, it's already white, so it's already primed, so we just need to paint it. Lovely. And it was from where, Wix? Wix, and it was thirty pounds. Very expensive for what it is, but we just thought saves time, saves effort. And beggars can't be choosers. Well, we can be choosers. We're not beggars. With beggars. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> I swear we're not beggars. Uh, on that note, if you guys want to support our Patreon, it will be. <laughs> what? We don't have a Patreon. We want a Patreon. I don't know about Patreon. What do you guys think? I just feel like. Is it a bit beggy? <laughs> Air host does it. Into the place, dispatch you from a race. My heart, it started racing. <laughs> the crowd across the way, the flower was on your face. And then, and from the 80s, someone keeps blocking my way. I can't feel farther away. So Nikki's just been setting up this very versatile camera angle. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. And now we're about to try and fit in a little bit of wood trim here for the top. Oh my god. Wow. That looks beautiful. That looks really good. We don't want that too. Good boy. So now we're gonna put these door frames on our upper head cabinets. Nick, do you want to show us uh, the handle rather than having a little tantrum? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. These? Yeah. They're actually from Poundland. Four in a pack for three pounds. Wow, what a bargain. Not bad. Do you want to show how they're going to go on? Wow. Like and then we've got these ones, just little black cute ones for them. We didn't want them to stick out too much. Um, yeah. Go on then. Off you go. 
So good morning, it is a new day. We are doing a couple of small jobs today before we do our electrics. Um, the small jobs are gonna be, we're just gonna fit some wheel arch boxes and do our overhead cabinets. So slight change of plan, Nick is gonna power out some of the electrics while I sort out these back doors and make them look nice and pretty. By taking the old wood off, sanding it down, wood staining it, and chucking it back on. Part of the electrics means basically putting all of the different components onto your wheel arch, getting it in the right position before you even do anything electrical and eating sweets. What are you watching? I'm actually watching our episode 12 from our last band build, which is our electrics video. I'm like, I kind of forgot what to do, so I've literally just been referring back to it. And I'm not gonna lie, it's actually, it's actually really good and like helpful if you just don't know what you're doing. Um, yeah, not to toot our own horns, but if you haven't watched that, I don't think there's any point in us filming what we're doing here because it's the exact same thing. So just go ahead and look at episode 12, I'll link it in the description for you. So Nikki's currently stenciling out all of the switches and plugs and MP50 remote meter and things like that that are going to go into the wall there. And then I'm going to go and jig them and then we're hopefully just going to slot them in first time. That's really nice. On a scale of one to ten, how much do you hate this job? There's something in the way. Don't know what it is. My hand is wet. I need a torch for a light. Can someone pass me a torch? Someone. <laughs> you getting pissed off down there? Yeah. Have you got it through? Yeah, it's here. You got the plug through? Yeah. Look. You didn't. Ah. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gassed or is it just me? Oh, just you. My hand is messed up. Look. Yeah, so you guys, if you're going to do your electrics at the end of your van build, make sure you do uh, bear some stuff in mind. Because yeah. obviously you have to rip it all apart like we are now to try to sort it out. Bit dumb of us, but we move. Right, so it's quarter to six and Nikki is currently cleaning the van up. A long day of electrics that we were so concentrated on that we didn't really film and we obviously knew that we've put it all in that last video that we put on our last fan build. Yeah. So now we're just going to unwrap our little mattress that just came and see what that looks like, chuck it in the van. I think we're getting a bit excited, aren't we? I am actually getting quite excited now. Just kind of want to see it as a finished product now, right? Yeah, absolutely. Let's just open it. Let's open it. <laughs> Deeper. So nice. So nice. Like, so nice. Like, it's not that crazy thick. It's like four inches. Oh, but it's actually so comfy. It's still due to expand some more, I think. Yeah, I think it will overnight. And worst case situation, people just get a mattress topper, but it looks yeah. pretty nice. <sighs> look at you, lie on your bed in your van. Huge. It does look pretty big. Right, I'm going to go get showered, get changed for work. So I've got work tonight in about 30 minutes. But you, um, making the bed up. Let's make the bed. Let's make the bed. Making the bed with Harry Cook. And Nicole Hawkins. Lindsay, you out, Ben. Quite a little grey throw. Yeah. 
<laughs> and Nicole Wesley. Sorry, it looks very cold, doesn't Look, it? And in there they've got a fridge. Yeah. Mum's um, sent me the link so I can see your little, um, you know, whatever you call that you do. Podcast, oh, is yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Don't forget to... <laughs> do you like? Cool. Thanks. Now, one thing you should never do in a van conversion is let the front of the van get as messy as we have. Like, it's disgustingly messy. We have a lot of regrets. Like, anything we didn't know where to put, we'd just be like, oh yeah, just put it in, in the, the front. front. We're animals. We're idiots. I hate us. So we're going to spend about 20 minutes tidying that now, I think. Wait. 